Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC, GPAC, current people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we're joined by the reigning men's basketball player of the week, Connor Dillon of Winona State Men's Basketball. Connor, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thank you, Nick, for having me. Very excited. All right, as we do each week, let's start with you telling us a little bit about yourself. Uh, okay, so my name is uh, Connor Dillon. I'm from Peoria, Illinois. Um, it's located in central Illinois. Um, I'm a 6'2 guard. Uh, athletically, eligibility-wise, I'm a junior, and um, I'm majoring in business administration and marketing. All right, native of Pe Peoria, Illinois. That's just about six hours south of Winona, five and a half ish or so. Why did you choose Winona State University to further your athletic and academic career? Um, it was one of the few options I had uh, to play ba basketball, um, especially with my brother as well. And I think going into uh, the decision, me and Declan kind of wanted to play together in college. Um, after taking our visit and talking to Coach uh, Eisner and uh, former Coach Malvik, uh, we just built great relationships with them. And we knew this was one of the spots we wanted to be at. Uh, you mentioned your twin brother, Declan. Uh, was that a deal breaker if you guys couldn't play at the same university? Were you guys planning to go same spot no matter what? Um, it wasn't like a major deal breaker. Um, just like majority of the offers we had, uh, I, we were all kind of together. They both both um, coaches offered us. So um, it's just going in on it together was just uh, really fun to do uh, during the process. The Warriors are eight and seven in league play. After losing three of your last four, Four before last weekend what changed that you're able to pick up two huge home wins including knocking off number three msu moorhead yeah uh those four games those were a tough weekend stretch uh those are probably the hardest drives for us um i'm not it's not really an excuse but just like we were lacking a lot of things on the defensive end and our offense wasn't really working well so uh this past weekend getting the sweep was uh pretty big for us uh gained our confidence back and uh getting all of our guys kind of back and healthy, uh, all kind of playing together was a major part of it as well. So we mentioned that big win over MSU Moorhead on Friday night. How did you stay focused to pick up the win on Saturday against a tough St. Cloud State team? Yeah, the Moorhead win was great. Um, we knew the weekend sweep was a big uh, big thing that we wanted to accomplish. Uh, we hadn't done it since the first back-to-back uh, -back NSIC weekend away. So getting it done at home was uh, – big goal of ours so it helped us kind of stay locked in for the rest of the weekend you were named nsic player of the week for your efforts tell us about your teammates that help you earn that honor oh yeah um our, our whole team played great this past weekend uh brock voigt uh who's been here majority of the season uh kind of dealing with some nagging injuries but he's been pretty unstoppable in the post recently and he's helped uh create um, me with the ability to be more open and get easier shots and also Declan my brother been creating a lot of shots and then also having our um, our guy Alumide at uh back in the mix as well so that's very important for us because he's another uh, person that can score the ball. You talk about this stretch uh, through February leading up to the NSIC tournament end of January uh, a midweek row game with Concordia St. Paul last night on Tuesday night on the road this weekend at Sioux Falls and Southwest Minnesota State. Those are two teams you're chasing in the standings. How do you stay focused on both your academics and the upcoming games during the season? Yeah, um, staying focused on academics is made pretty important for me. Um, really just kind of communicating with my teachers and my advisors uh, to help me stay in the mix and not make sure I'm not missing anything and just staying on top of my things for sure. All right. You are third in the NSIC in scoring at nearly 21 points per game. That went up a little bit, I think, last night. Uh, you scored over 1,000 points in your career last night at Concordia St. Paul Tuesday night. You went off for 41 points at Concordia, uh, your second 40-point performance of the season. How do you describe your style of play? Um, I'd just say I'm probably a three-way level scorer um, that can – also create for my uh, teammates as well. Um, I'd like to, I mean, I think I could finish in the paint uh, when I want. And if my shot is as confident as I believe it is and it's going in, um, I think it can be a pretty uh, dangerous offensive threat for sure. 
was last night? Was it five first half three pointers uh, started the game off that way? That was that was pretty impressive. Yeah, for sure. I definitely uh, felt pretty confident right away, and uh, it just kind of opened it up for the rest of us as well. All right. So come game day, are there any unique pregame rituals or superstitions you have? Um, I wouldn't say I don't have any major superstitions. Um, I do like to like usually stay pretty hydrated before a game, so I like getting like certain like Pedialytes or Gator Gatorades, and then I usually like having like a energy drink kind of before the game as well. All right, well, keep doing whatever you did yesterday for that performance. And final question for you, Connor: What advice would you give to a young player to help them in their development? Uh, just stay confident. Um, I mean, every day is not the same. Uh, they can go in a lot of mental. There's a lot of mental side to this basketball game. Um, just staying confident and understand that hard work uh, is a lot more than talent. Uh, just continue to put in a lot of work every day. All right. That's going to wrap up this week's show. Thanks again to our sponsor, GPAC. Connor, best of luck to you and the Warriors the rest of the season. Thank you, Nick. Go Warriors.